What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> it's your boy, Tastemaker's Palette, here to bring you another review. I hope that you are all well today. Uh, depending on where you are, probably most places, there's a lot of uh, Halloween in the air and a lot of fun and costumes and homes decorated and all that type of thing. Um, so hopefully you are enjoying that vibe and there's a lot of fun going on where you're at. So um, just uh, coming to you guys today, I wanted to do a, another accessory review. I um, wanted to do a little bit more jewelry in my, uh, in my review. So today I'm going to review a recent purchase. It is a 22 inch white gold diamond cut two millimeter Franco. Um, with a diamond nail cross piece. Um, the Franco was purchased at Jacoji.com, um, a popular um, online retailer. Uh, he's a, a retailer, I think the name of the owner is Braden and he um, he's able to successfully market the jewelry brand online, digitally through YouTube and such. Um, so he's, he's been pretty successful with that. If you, um, put Google, if you, I'm sorry, if you search Franco or a rope chain in the, um, in the YouTube, um, search, he's going to be somewhere in that algorithm high up. So, um, he also does informational videos that teach about purchasing jewelry and the different nuances of owning jewelry and comparisons and different carrots and those types of things to help you to make your your jewelry purchases so um you know a, a pretty actually a a good um a good um youtube uh, uh channel to subscribe to if you're into purchasing jewelry um so I, was, I purchased from them just wanted to try them out was hearing a lot about them and uh was very pleased great product i think the chain is about 13 grams the Diamond Nail Cross was purchased through Jewelry Unlimited. It's another online purchase. Um, purchased that some time ago. Um, and I'll try to get a little closer so you can see. I'm gonna do the on neck first and I'll take it off so you can take a look and see it. It was on backwards, there we, there we go. And just a nail cross with kind of some ribbons around the front and diamonds at the ends of the nails and on the bell and the diamonds were they're very small diamonds they're just for a little bit of glitter and flash nothing uh, not flex kind of diamonds or anything it's definitely well under a carat probably under a half a carat to be honest and i'll take it off here so you guys can take a look So I started off on neck on purpose so that you guys can see actually how it looks because when I show it to you this way, it looks a little bit bigger than what it really is. So two millimeters is a small chain, guys. So um, I would say it's just like right when this is what we're dealing with Franco chains. I would say in general with all chains, it's going to be pretty small. Franco's are probably on the larger side in, uh, in terms of two millimeter chains. But um, I mean, this is this is definitely not for a jewelry flex per se. This is something that you accessorize, um, you know, just so you can have that presence on your neck and um, for a more subtle um, kind of understated look. This is what we have, 14 karat white gold on both pieces. Franco. This is the clasp. And yeah, the uh, nail cross is 1.8 inches. It is eight grams. It's another thing too. You wanna, you want your, if you have a Franco, you want your piece to be comparable in weight to the chain. If you want it weighed down, um, if you don't want it weighed down, obviously you want the charm to be um, to be lighter, but you you probably don't want to go 
too much more. You don't want your, your pendant to weigh too much more than what your chain weighs unless it's a huge chain, like we're talking 25 grams and up, which is not huge, but a lot stronger, I should say. But if you got a 25 gram, 50 gram, 100 gram chain, then obviously you can go a little stronger with the piece, but this is a 13 gram chain. I probably wouldn't go more than, I wouldn't go, if the piece was in between 13 and 15 grams, that would be on the high side. This is eight, weighs it down perfectly. So yeah, here's another close up of the charm. Has a spinning bell, so, so that the chain doesn't get wrapped up. Try to get there, it is, eh, won't stay straight for you. And this is the back of the piece here. The back of the piece is not, it's not a full wrap, but it's fine. But yeah, very clean look. White gold, I still like white gold. Some people don't don't rock it anymore, but I love it. So, and, um, I'm actually scheming on some platinum. It's, that's uh, more to come. Keep keep Stay tuned, keep watching, and I'll be reviewing one of those in the near future. But yeah, that's it. Uh, that's my little accessory piece. Um, I'll leave some information in the description in terms of where the sites are and how you can look on those sites for yourself if you want to just look around or if you want to purchase um that's it thank you guys like comment subscribe um or let me know what you think let me know what your what your jury purchasing experiences have been taste makers palette and i'm out you guys take care